Hi guys, welcome to this session. Today we're going to have a look at the common mistakes and errors that you will find in Excel sheets and how to fix them. So the most common errors that we've probably all seen is the diff error. What do we do with them? Do we keep them? Do we remove them? Let's see how we're going to fix these along the way. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with the first one. In some sheets, you may find the hashtags in a column and you might find a header which looks like it's slightly hidden. So what does this mean? If you just click into the cell, there is actually is a value over here. So all you need to do is literally unhide this. If you double click on the arrow here, The second error you could find is a hashtag value error. Now what this means is usually the difference between different cell formats. So you have here numbers and you find the difference here with the sum. This is clear. Now if you pull it along to the next cell, it gives you a value error. Why could that be? It could be for a number of different reasons. It could be that there could be characters in this cell or it could be that it's taking away a number and a text. So if we just press a delete here, it had blank errors there, and there you go, you have the number. So it doesn't recognize the different format. So if you had any type of text here, even though if it's a blank, this would happen. Now what you could do is it can work like this. If you just type in a sum before the number, it ignores any text that's there. So if you use that, we can see that that works perfectly well there. And if we drag it through, even if we type in something here, it will work. The third error we're going to have a look at is the hashtag name. This usually happens when you've misspelt a function. So if we go in to the formula bar here, you see that the sum is spelt with two M's. And that's why it gives the error there. So we simply need to make sure that we've named the formula correctly. Now, if we remove that, there you have it. The fourth error we're going to have a look at is the hashtag spill. This usually happens when you're trying to arrange a formula that's going to go over a number of cells and something comes in the way. So if we just try this over here, let's try to get a unique range from this list of departments. So if we click onto the unique there, enter there, there you go, you have a spill error in the way. Now, this thing in the way, let's just remove it, and there you go, your formula is correct. The fifth error is the hashtag div error. This is probably one of the most common ones that I've seen in a lot of Excel sheets, and no one handles them correctly. So what they do is just leave the div errors because there will be probably some data that's going to be entered in these. What the div error shows is basically that this cell is empty and it's trying to divide it by a zero. Now there are a couple of ways to handle it. We don't need to delete these because we are waiting for the data that is coming here. And what we need to do is, this is the simplest way that you could handle it, is with an if error function. So if you just type in an if error, and what it does, you just put a bracket before and the last argument would be then a blank. Now here, we can test it in two different ways. What it's saying is that if there is an error found in this formula, just make it a blank instead of a div. Now what we could do is just drag across the formula, but I wanna show you something very interesting where you could pull down the formula here and let's try it again. What we can do is if we do an if error formula, oops, we have a name error there. Uh, if we do an if error formula, what we can do is instead of having um, just a blank, what we could do is we can just write waiting for data, perhaps. Maybe that could be something that you might wanna put. So that's something that you could use inside of the asterisks for whatever you want to have. So the sixth error you could find is the hashtag ref error. Now what this does, it always looks for a reference. So for example, if we deleted one of these columns, 
there we go we have a ref error because what it's looking for is the column next to it now if we just come bring back the column and perhaps we take the formula and put it somewhere closer to the left we would have the same error because it's looking for the two columns that are previous to this And the final seventh one is hashtag NA. This one is usually found when you have VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP function where whatever you're looking for in the range doesn't match up with the field that you're trying to enter here. So imagine that we're looking for the 2022 sales over here and I've just highlighted luxury chocolates here with the S at the end and here it's not spelt with the S. So the difference is here, you have to be very careful with the data and the data has to be matching exactly. Even if you look at the frozen fish fillets, it's spelt correctly here. But if you happen to put a space, you basically don't have anything over here. Now, what can we do about these errors? So you could use the same function, which is the if error. And we just type it in like that. And the same thing that can happen here so you could add inside here not found and then that will show you there we go so you could use that to highlight the text and highlight the cells where you want it to show <laughs> Thank you.